Hey guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm in front of the world famous Derwent Pencil Museum in Keswick, Cumbria. This van is old, that much is true. But let's go inside and see what it looks like through there. Come on, follow me. Let's go Tom the... So, I'm here in the Derwent Pencil Museum with the wonderful Lara. Hello, Lara. Hello. So, Lara, pencils. Yes. Where do they come from? So, they come from this area, and the reason we've got them here is because graphite was first found in this area. Graphite really? being what you put in your pencils. In Keswick? No, in Borrowdale, so Borrow. that's about 10 miles away from here. Nothing like Borromeo? No, nothing like Borromeo. That'd be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. They found the lead in Borrowdale, didn't they? Found like graphite, no lead. Graphite. Yeah, that's a, that's a myth, isn't it? Yeah. So, you were just telling me before that there has never ever been lead in pencils. No, people thought that there was lead because they used to lick the pencils and it made the tools go black. Right. And they thought that was lead, but there's never been lead in a pencil because pencils have to go through the system of being non-toxic huh. and lead is toxic. There you go, how about that? They found the graphite in, uh, when was it, the 1600s? 1500s. Okay. The story being that it was some shepherds that originally found it when they were tending to the, their sheep after a violent storm yes. on, the, on the mines. And a tree had overturned okay. with some black substance in the, in the roots of the trees. Like a pencil. Almost like a pencil. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> and they thought it was charcoal originally, really? but um, tried to burn it. Graphite doesn't burn. Doesn't burn, okay. No. But what does it do? It does mark your hands. Your hands. <laughs> That's how they found out. Right, okay. Work. Oh, yeah. Laura, you were telling me a really interesting story about some guy that came over in the Second World War. Yeah, his name was Charles Fraser Smith, and he was known as the original Q, as in Bond yeah. Q. And his job would be to go around to different lists and see if they could make these spy gadgets. Yeah. And in 1942, he came to the pencil factory here in Keswick and asked if it was possible to hide a, a map and a compass that would then go on to the area. In, in pencil? In the pencil, yeah. And did they do it? They did. Did it go on to the... The, the RAF servicemen each got a pencil with a hidden map and a compass with the idea of being if they ever got shot down over enemy territory, they could then escape without Wait, ever knowing. A compass in a pencil? A compass in a pencil. How small was the compass? It was 7.5 millimetres. And they could read it with like a magnifying glass? Yeah, it literally sit in the palm of your hand and it would help you. That's amazing. These are coloured pencils. No graphite in these. No graphite in these. Coloured pencils are made with clear and coloured pigment. Yeah. But you don't find graphite in colours. Huh. Well, I think that's all we've got, like, not got time for, but... Laura, thanks very much. No problem. Come in. <laughs> oh, cheers. You're welcome.
Bye. Yeah, Laura's telling me this is a real pencil here. I didn't think it was, but this is all the way through. It has to be all the way through to get the Guinness World Record. Right, okay. It has to be a real pencil and Oh my god. Can I go? Yeah. It has to be a real snap like this. Oh, that, yeah, okay. I'll go for the next one.